Right, GCSE Computer Science um, essentially is looking at all aspects of computer science, okay? That goes down from things such as learning how to program computers, uh, but as well as that, you learn how computers represent information. In addition to that, you look at things such as obviously what's inside a computer, such as hardware and software. Um, you look at potentially how computers are connected together by networking. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, then it's the wider issues, which are obviously changing as technology moves on. So, we'll look at things like cybersecurity and also potentially legal and um, social aspects of computer science. Essentially, it's breaking problems down. It's trying to, trying to take a big challenge or a big scenario and chunk it down into little bits, okay? And then once you've got those little bits, once you've decomposed into little bits, then you can basically put it into a computer and get the computer to represent those things. You need to have a good logical approach to thinking about how to solve problems. Um, a good strong level of mathematics is very, very helpful, okay? Even if it's possibly essential. Um, you've got to enjoy doing programming, so you've got to enjoy maybe doing year eight Python work. Um, and you've got to really have an ability to have an appreciation or, or want to learn more about new technologies because GCSE Computer Science is one of, those, one of those subjects that's always changing. It's always new content, always new information. Um, essentially, the course is assessed by having two exams at the end of the year. Okay, so each exam is worth 40% of the overall um, grade. Um, as well as that, you'll do something called a non-exam assessment, okay, which is 20% of your final grade. And that non-exam assessment is a program. So you'll be writing a program to a given specification uh, in Python. Okay? Building up to that, to make sure you know you're doing well, we will give you lots of mini assignments and mini tasks and mini projects. And again, you'll get regular feedback looking at progress grades on how well you're working towards your target. And so there's a variety of pathways you can go. You've got your, you can go um, to university. Afterwards, do a degree in computer science, such a big field, you, there's such a variety, you can go into games computing, networking, cyber security, or just degree in computer science if you're not sure, graphic design, um, all really big industries at the minute. Another route you can take is apprenticeships, which is a growing field, and you can um, join with a company, and they will help train you up and build on your IT skills that you've learnt with us here. Um, it lends itself to people who have the ability to break problems down and think problems through logically. Um, but challenge is interesting, challenge is good. Challenge stretches you and gives you an opportunity to think things in a different way or think things differently um, and basically learn a little bit more about yourself.